Hey guys, this is Will Source again. This is a quick uh, video response uh, to Paulo uh, from Statue of Freaks. He uh, asked me a few questions about uh, my Spidey statue. Uh, so uh, I'm going to make a little quick uh, video thing. Uh, <clears throat> actually, this, is, uh, this was uh, uh, for sale. It was in the um, uh, previews magazine. Uh, some of you guys know, I think it was sold uh, or distributed through uh, Diamond uh, Select. Uh, this statue actually uh, ran for uh, $1,700, you know, hard to believe. Uh, it was more so uh, an introduction to the uh, Spider-Man movie, the first one. Uh, also, this is the very same one uh, that their Blockbuster video had bought. And uh, they had uh, had a giveaway on. Uh, also, uh, it's the same statue. Also, there was at some movie theaters uh, when they had the uh, preview of Spider-Man uh, during that time. Uh, so they, you know, in turn had uh, you know sold it through you know through them, and they also uh, sold it through uh, collectors who wanted to buy it. Uh, of course, I, I'm not going to spend on seventeen hundred dollars for a statue, but. Um, I called it uh, actually a friend of mine's. Um, uh, he's a he's a plumber, uh, so he had like a you know uh, went to a customer's house uh, to do a job, and uh, lo and behold, uh, when he went in the family uh, rec room that was in the basement uh, to do the job, uh, hey, this guy was over by the the family uh, pinball machine. Uh, so he uh, had inquired uh, at the owner of the house, uh, uh, you know, where did he get it from? Uh, so the guy told him uh, he had uh, won it uh, through uh, the Blockbuster giveaway. He was one of the lucky persons that got it. Uh, so he had, uh, asked him was he interested in selling it. So he told him he wasn't sure. Uh, you know, he had let him know. Uh, so, you know, uh, luckily my buddy gave him a real good deal on a plumbing job that he did. And I guess uh, the owner uh, appreciated it and, and uh, offered to sell it to him. Uh, so, um, uh, in return, he told uh, me about it because that's actually who he's inquiring on it for. Because uh, he figured I would probably be interested in it because I'm a real big Spider-Man fan. Um, so he told me about it. I said, "Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I'm interested in it." Uh, so yeah, he had took a couple pictures of it with his camera phone. He had showed me the pictures, you know. So you know, seen the deal, you know. I said, "Yeah, cool. Yeah, you know, get it. You know." Uh, so for a few hundred dollars, uh, you know. Uh, gave him the money and he bought it from the homeowner uh, and I had it ever since then you know it uh, you know been in my possession for quite a few years now uh, actually he was kind of like my seasonal mascot when the holiday seasons and holidays came around I always put like kind of some type of hat on his head uh, but as you know I get a little tired of the holiday thing at times you know and, and you know you know a little tired and don't have as much time to put it into it as I used to. Um, he just became uh, the figure point of my uh, statue room. Uh, I also had uh, uh, another life size statue. Uh, it was a uh, 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 dark ball. Um, I regrettably had sold that. You know, I should have kind of kept it. It was part of that uh, Pepsi Drive statue. Uh, but uh, uh, they, they take up a lot of room, as you can see. Uh, so. Uh, uh, it's a pretty cool piece, you know, it has like a few tears, uh, I'm uh, trying to make some tan to do some repairs on it, uh, but I guess I'll eventually get around to it. But I uh, hope that answered your question, uh, Paul. Uh, any other questions you guys have, uh, I'll be doing like a little video uh, tutorial, uh, to give you the heads up on, you know, this or that. Uh, I'll probably be doing some more as, you know, tan goes. Uh, so every now and then I see uh, this on sale uh, on uh, eBay. Uh, the biggest thing, like you all know, is the shipping. That's what's really going to kill you on something like this. Uh, they had one that was uh, more like a display of Toys R Us. It wasn't as nice as this one. It was more so just a solid plastic Spider-Man statue that was about a little over five feet tall. And uh, the guy just wanted a, a few hundred bucks for it. You know, uh, I think actually maybe under that, maybe one fifty. But it was just the shipping and handling uh, that, that killed you, you know. So, and in total, all that you would have been paying $500 for it. So, which still ain't bad if that's what you're looking at.
the deficit you really want. Because there's some statues out here that you spend well over five hundred dollars for, but to have a life size statue, you know, that's you know, pretty good conversational piece. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you're interested in stuff like this, always kind of check eBay. Um, uh, one chance, one time, I had a chance of getting uh, another life size Spider-Man statue. Uh, when uh, Toys R Us ages ago, that's going through a remodel, uh, dragged my feet on it, uh, and someone else uh, had got it. So uh, you know, you live and you learn. So I would have probably two by now. Uh, but it's it's a learning curve. You know, some things you're gonna have to let go, and you know, uh, but it's you know, it's all part of that experience. Okay, uh, we'll sort of sign out. Uh, you guys, y'all, hang loose, be cool, uh, be put more videos out. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.